Hi, I'm Liz. Welcome to my channel, Making It Easy with Liz. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pendant out of a bead. And I have three examples here. Aren't they lovely? They're gorgeous. These are made out of copper wire that I patinaed in liver of sulfur afterwards. Um, if you don't know how to patina with liver of sulfur, there will be a link to my video that shows you how to do that. But I'm going to show you how super easy it is to make these three beautiful pendants. So let's go ahead and get started. Down for the first one, let's see. I'm going to show you how to do put a spiral on the front and then do your bail. So I'm going to start with, you can use 18 gauge wire or 20 gauge wire, depending on how big it is. And um, so first, I, I think for this one I'm going to use 20 gauge. And I'm just going to pull off uh, a piece. There's no magic, uh, I'm going to straighten it out. There's no magic um, amount. You just have to try to play it by ear. So, you know, for the spiral, I'm going to need maybe, let's just say, <clears throat> three or four inches. And then for doing um, the wire wrapping and whatnot. Um, so, you know what? I'm going to give myself, uh, I don't know, about 12 inches of wire. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to give myself a little bit more than that. So I've got probably about uh, 13, 13 or 14 inches of wire. You can measure it if you want. I might come up a little short, who knows. Anyway, <clears throat> I, don't, I don't bother with such formal details, right? All right, so you're gonna flush cut your end. I'll use this end here, it's straighter. And we're gonna take our round nose, and I want to start this spiral at the very tips of my round nose. And for your spiral to be perfectly round, you need for none of your uh, wire to be sticking out. I'm going to bring this back a little bit because these are super fine tipped, and I'm afraid that it might not uh, that it might not work out. It might slip out. So perfectly round circle. You're going to have nothing nothing sticking out the edge there. Okay. If you have a little bit there, that's how you end up with a teardrop. Then you start ending up with an egg-shaped spiral. Okay, so again, right there, I'm going to roll. Don't push this up into. Okay, now you're going to take your flat nose pliers. Now you can do an open weave spiral or a closed spiral. Closed is when each row touches the one before it and an open weave one is <clears throat> you're gonna just uh, make it a little more open. So anyway, right now we're gonna do a closed one. So you just keep positioning it so a little bit of that edge sticks out. Oops, it can slip. Alright, and so you're just gonna make your spiral to the size that you want on your pendant. And you could place this anywhere. You could place it up here, you could place it down here. Let me make it a little bit bigger. And if you have a really pretty stone, you don't want to cover it up with a bunch of wire, so. Okay, so there's my spiral. Now I could have that coming anywhere. I could have that coming across the front like that, but I'm going to put mine down in the middle or down at the bottom centered. So I'm going to take my spiral and I'm going to center it like a lollipop. And I am going to stick my wire, the end of my wire, through my bead. And now you're going to take and fold that right up against like that. And I always take this off and then I am going to smoosh this down a little bit. That's going to make that spiral 
really snug onto the beads. See how close that is now? Now I can snap that in there. There. That snapped right on there. Look, it's not moving. Okay, so now we're going to do our wire wrap loop at the top. I have a little bit of overkill of wire here, but I'm going to show you. We're going to do another spiral also. So <clears throat> we're going to do a wire wrap loop, and I'm not going to go into the details of doing a wire wrap loop. Um, you can look at my video on how to do a wire wrap loop to get some practice on that. So I'm just going to do it, okay? Now I'm going to use my bail makers because I want a bigger, a bigger bail on it. Now, I'm also going to let this come down and make just a little bit of a nice little collar or cap on the top here. Like that. Isn't that pretty? squeeze just to straighten that out a little bit. Alright, so now we're going to do a spiral coming down across the front. I could do a small one going up in that and cover that up, but I think I'll do one down on the on the bead. And I don't need this really long, so I'm just going to cut this to about an inch and a half. Okay, and now I'm going to over direct this a little bit because now when I come in with my spiral it will snug this tighter. You always support your wire. Now when I can't go any further with my round nose, I'm going to use my... Now I can't... Now I have to take my plier and work my spiral. And there you go. Look how pretty that is. Still shows off the stone. Beautiful. Look how pretty that is. That will look really pretty when it's antiqued also. There you go. There's one. Look how quick that was. Okay, so now the second one. Let's see, what shall we do? What shall we do? Um, this one's faceted. Beautiful carnelian. All right, so if you just wanted to just preserve the stone and you didn't want to put anything on the front, you can do it um, this way. I'm going to use 18 gauge because this is a really big stone. This is how much I ended up wasting cutting off of that 14 inch piece of wire. So for something simple that's not uh, going to be very decorative, I only, I'm going to cut myself maybe 10 inches of wire. Now, <clears throat> what are we going to do with this one? Um, what shall we do with this one? Well, let's, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to come up the front. Okay, so I don't need a whole lot, so I've got enough here. I, I'm just going to leave myself some here for um, a nice amount for me to do my wire wrap loop, and I'll probably end up doing a spiral. Now I'm going to go up the front. I'm just going to come straight up here like this, come down, and wrap. So now I'm wrapping my wire 
going up. Make them nice and neat. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take my flat nose and I'm going to give it a little twist. And that just gives it a, a little design. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this. I actually didn't want to go that high up, but we'll just cover it up. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to snip this wire, flush cut, and snip it in really nice and tight. There we go. Tuck that in. All right, now I'm going to do a, a wire wrap loop, but I'm not going to leave a space. I'm just going to come over here. So I pull that in until it's centered, just like that. All right, so now I'm going to wrap this down. And this is going to give a nice, thick I actually don't have enough to do a spiral, but that's okay. We're going to keep this one nice and clean. Nice clean lines. So I'll just take this in the back here. And I'll snip that off. And with my chain nose, I'm just going to go ahead and tuck in that end so it doesn't pick at, at any clothes. Straighten out my bale. Sometimes stones aren't drilled properly, so they're a little off. You can see this one. The hole isn't exactly in the middle. It's more over to this side. But that worked out quite well. Okay. There's that. Now, if I had had enough wire, I would have done a spiral. I could have done a spiral. Okay, now for the next one, I'm going to make a head pin for this one. Or actually what I'll do is I'll do, a, yeah, I'll make a head pin for it. All right, so I'm using 18 gauge. And I'm going to cut it again, cut myself off around, oh, a foot of wire. When you're using copper wire, you know, I mean, look, I didn't waste very much, and I can probably use these in something else. But if you're using sterling silver wire, I strongly suggest that you practice first with copper. Jot down your measurements and what worked best before you go to waste uh, any sterling. Okay, I'm going to make a head pin on the end of this. And this has a fairly large hole. So just bending a little loop at the end. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm going to do a spiral. I'm going to do a spiral. So let's do... I'll do an open spiral this time so you can see what I did. So this time I'm going to come back further on my plier, my, on my round nose. I'm going to come in, and I'm going to start off close. See what I got there? Now I'm going to start an open, an open spiral. And the way you do that is I grab it from back here and see, and now I am just taking my plier and I'm bringing it in and placing it where I want it. Take it again, see that? And then if I wanted to come in closer in the end, then I can just start coming closer, just to give it a little bit of a, some support. And I always come back up to where my opening is. Okay, so that's what we have. Isn't that cute? Now I'm going to center 
my wire. I'm just going to bring that straight up, just like that. All right, so we're going to stick this in the bottom. Just like that. And now we're going to do our bale. I don't think I'm going to do as big of a of a hole because what if I just want to put this on a piece of leather like a two millimeter leather so I'm going to go way back into my round nose here okay And what I really want to do now, see how this is moving around? I want to squish this in. That's just going to tighten everything up. Hopefully. Yeah, that's, that's tightening that up nicely. And my, my, um, my spiral that's going to come on the front will help hold that in also. Okay, so I'm just going to do a little spiral in the front. I don't need as much wire, so I am going to take off a little bit here. I like, to, like I said, I like to over direct my wire, like really over direct it when I do my spiral because then it'll come in here and it'll hug and it won't pop off the front of the stone. There, look how pretty that is. Look how lovely that is. That's gonna look really nice antiqued. You could wear it the other side, you could you could reverse it. Let's see, there's some ideas. There's some ideas of how to dress up a bead and make a pendant out of it. There you go. I hope you like this. I hope you find this helpful. I hope this will spark some creativity on your end. And um, anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and your support. I'm just really having a blast doing this. Take care. Have a great day. Love you. See you. Bye.